So today we're going to go over freestyle swimming biomechanics. These are the anatomical structures we need to actually release and activate so we can improve performance and prevent injuries. Now, we're going to go over a lot of different structures and we're going to break this down into numerous parts of the body. We're going to start out with the upper extremity. Now, just remember that freestyle swimming is actually quite complicated. We're going to go through a lot of different structures. So it's not a matter of just one or two primary ones. We actually have to get into just about everything here. Mickey, I'm going to get you to lie on your side, please. You okay with me working on the area? Yep. Okay, there? okay, good. All right, so we're going to start out with the serratus anterior. Okay, I'm just going to get over across here a little bit. Doing okay there? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let me just get between the ribs here a little bit too. So if we're on the serratus anterior, this particular muscle contracts to assist in rotating and protracting the scapula. It basically it helps the swimmer achieve a full extension with reach and allowing for a longer, more efficient stroke. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So as we go through the video here, you're gonna see that we're only working on one side of the body. Obviously, I would actually address both. I would also get in there and I'd be examining the individual and I'd be seeing, do we have a restriction in range of motion? Do we have tenderness? I'd be palpating. I'd be doing a complete orthopedic and neurological examination on the person to try and delineate which specific structures we could actually release. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna work my way through a new, numerous structures so you can see some of the procedures we use. Mickey, I'm going to have you come sit up, please, and just face straight over. Okay, so we're going to move on to the upper trapezius here. Okay. I'm going to get you to, as you're coming down from here like this, kind of bring that over like that, okay? Okay, okay so bring it over. Good. So if we're looking at the upper trapezius, this is the muscle that's elevating an upward row really rotating the scapula. Basically, it's assisting in the recovery phase of the freestyle stroke. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this down here. Get over there, good. Doing okay? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna move down here a little bit, get more towards the middle trapezius. Now, if we're looking at the middle trapezius, this is the muscle that retracts the scapula, pulling it forward towards the spine, helps to maintain a High elbow position, basically optimizing the angle for the pull. Something I, when I started getting more and more into the biomechanics of freestyle swimming, I realized how complex it is. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Now we start working down a little towards the lower trapezius. You feeling that a bit? Mm -hmm. So, and down, and down. Good. Right down. So the lower trapezius helps in scapular depression and upward rotation. Basically, it aids in uh, maintaining a stable and strong shoulder position. You okay? Yep. Okay. Oh. Okay, Mickey, I'm gonna get you to lie on your back, please. So we're gonna move on to the pectoralis major. So again, we're just going to work on one side of the body. Mickey, you okay with me working on the area here? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just get you to push your breast down on that side. Good. We'll take a look. Doing okay? Good. All right. So the interesting thing about the pec major and why it's so important is that it generates the majority of the force needed to move through the water. You okay? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get a little bit of circumduction here. You knew that was coming. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so the pectoralis major also aids in arm recovery. And it has a, uh, a minor role in the recovery phase. Okay. It's such an important muscle and one of the reasons why is people spend so much time in terms of strengthening the uh, pec major in freestyle swimming. Mm -hmm. Good. So I'm gonna get you to lie on your side, face over. 
Now, we already went on a little bit of the serratus anterior, but there's also a gap in between here that goes to the latissimus dorsi. So I'm just gonna kind of go in between there. And I'm gonna get the latissimus dorsi from a few different positions here. But essentially, as we go through the latissimus dorsi, we'll see that uh, it, it basically assists the pectoralis major in generating force during the underwater pull. Really, really important muscle. Mickey, I'm gonna get you to go face down here, please. Get inside the table here. Yeah. I'm gonna get you to actually just reach straight up here, okay? I'm gonna get more towards the middle part of the lad here. You okay? Yeah. Back. And over. And so I'm going to do this from two different vectors. I'm actually just taking it inferior as you bring the arm up. And now I'm just going to go under, flatten my hands up, take it up there. Doing okay? Yeah. Feel that one quite a bit, don't That's you? That's a good one. <laughs> Back. <laughs> and again. So I'm just using a few different ways to handle this using pin and stretch modalities. Excellent. And again. Back. And again. Good. Okay, I'm gonna let you have a seat here for a sec, please. Space for you. Okay, so we're gonna get on a few of the wrist flexors here. Doing okay? That's just Good. nice. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with the situation? <laughs> Doesn't hurt. <laughs> All right. So I'm also gonna make my way across. Oh, palmaris longus. Get on the inside here. The uh, flexor carpi ulnaris longus. So these are really important in terms of swimming because they help. They basically maintain a slightly flexed wrist position throughout the propulsive phase. Good. And this is critical for maximizing the hand's surface area. And this helps to contribute to a greater gr greater propulsion, basically. Okay, that's fair. Now straighten your arm out. Okay, back up. Again, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> All right. And again. Good. So we're talking about the elbow flexors here. Good. Back up. Essentially working your way around between the brachii and the brachial brachialis. Okay. These start to contract at the beginning of the catch phase. There we go. Back up. Contraction of uh, these particular muscles basically aids in maintaining a high elbow position, optimizing the angle for pull. Good. Now, as you know, we're going to get back here, straighten your arm out. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't quite hear that. Can you repeat that, please? No. <laughs> All right. So, triceps brachii. So, during the perfor propulsive phase of swimming. It concludes with the extension of the elbow by the triceps brachii, driving the hand backwards and upward towards the water surface. There we go. Okay? Yeah. And again. And also during the recovery phase when the arm is out of the water and moving forward, there we go. Oh. Helps to set up for the next phase of the stroke. Basically, the tricep assists in maintaining a high elbow position. There we go. Good. Okay. So, we've gone through quite a few different structures here, but each of these can make a huge difference in terms of performance, make a huge difference in terms of preventing injuries in different areas. People start getting into competitive swimming, getting into triathlons, there's a lot of repetitive motion. And, you know, if we go through these areas, we can really uh, make a difference in performance and injury prevention. 
So let's move on to the next phase.